Hi ladies, it's Penny here on a not bad day, Thursday. Uh, they say it's a little bit warmer than yesterday. It's a best spot of rain. This, I'm going to call this video my Fimo, Fimo made me cry. I had a disaster ladies, look. <laughs> I had a disaster. That looks like something to eat, I think, doesn't it? This was, I took off YouTube, a lady who did a little pixie house. And uh, she used, I've not got a polystyrene ball, but, you know, polystyrene inside there. And one inside this top piece. Baked it in the oven. And they, um... It should all come out intact and then you put ooh, nail varnish remover stuff inside and it melts it. But mine didn't even get to that because it's all cracked. Arthur says I could put it back together but to me it'll always be um, a broken one. I'll see, I might. But I've started on another one. Oh, let me move this out of the way. Oh, there we go. Started on another one, not giving up, but this one I've been put on a a jam jar. So this one I can turn into a light, put a little light in it. So this is my favourite piece to date. As you can see that. Yep. Um, my inspiration was from Lynn's Crafts in, uh, she's from Texas and she does beautiful work, I was going to say similar to this but <laughs> it's much better than this um, but I, have, I did enjoy doing that one I'm just slowly getting my little parts for the jewellery um, at the moment I've just got like silver bits not many gold or bronze but I'm, I'm getting there and then I had a go at this lovely colour blue of another lady off YouTube and um, and this is all clay and then all different designs in it. Uh, these were meant to be earrings, matching earrings, but I think they're a bit big for anybody I know. So um, I think I'll turn these into pendants as well. Can you see that? Most think am I going the right way? Yeah. Hello, is that it? Uh, so I think there'll be two pendants rather than two earrings on that one. Um, I sent Betsy Doodle for part of her birthday um, some, oh my god, I think it's there anyway, some uh, daisies. And earrings. So I've made this set for somebody else and I've also done a larger one, the pendant one. So I promised Betsy D that I'd um, show her how I did a mess like this. So the first thing I did, I'll just my nose out. Oh that's some little stack of books I did for um, maybe a key ring or something like that. Not quite finished that one. Um, first thing I did was Got me white clay. I always make sure you've got no other colour on your hands when you're dealing with white clay. I have messed up quite a bit because I forget and then I touch blue or green or something and red is murder. And you touch that and then all your white's gone pink for sure. So, the first thing I did was got a bit of clay conditioned it meaning rolling it and squeezing it and get all the air bubbles out now the best way to roll it I've learned is because I'm not very good at doing that part so that's my little double O's over there um, Lynn showed us how to do it with um, a plastic of, uh, what do you call them what you stick your uh, stamps on in that so, just get one of them and roll it and it makes life a lot easier. So, then you just cut off little bits or pull little bits off and 
kind of roll it in your hand till it's like that. Uh, Lynn calls them dog's teeth, I think. <laughs> so, I've done one, as you can see, one round one. Let me try again. Until I'm not used to doing these, can't you? So, we'll put one there. I'm trying to get them small enough for, for an earring, because otherwise um, people find them too big to wear. So, I'm just going around doing three. And uh, we'll do five, that's a little bit thin. After so long you get to um, feel by touch uh, the size and that that you want. That's a little bit big, that one. Not bad. Um, so that's three. Four, is it? That's five now, isn't it? Five. So once you've got your five down, I, I did have a skewer or something here. Oh, I don't know what I've done with it. Here's one. Um, or a toothpick would be better, but I don't think I've got, oops, don't think I've got any around at the moment. Uh -huh. uh, I should have pulled one out of where I keep them in mind. This will do. You could use a metal one, but with a metal one I'm always go f go through it type of thing so this is the glass I'm going to bake it on it's only a oh, you put your cup on outside it's glass and so it goes in the oven it's cracked all the picture at the back but it doesn't matter so once we've got our five down I just put um, a little bit of pressure in that and to form the petal And don't forget, all petals are different, so uh, it doesn't matter if they're a bit different to one another. Um, and then, you could leave it like that if you just like, like it like that, or make it up to a seven petal. But, I think on most of mine I've done... Um, a double petal so put another one on I've tried a few of the other clays but I do like this this Fimo this is this one's Fimo effects I think is it this is Primo Sculpe but Sculpe and Primo seem to be the ones that I'm using more and usually one of them soft Fimo soft Um, they, they work out a two two pound thirty, I think it was, for a sachet that size in the range. Two pounds, I'm think, for that size. But I mean, I can find them on one come yesterday for me. A beautiful shade. There we are, Primo Sculpey, and that's a gorgeous shade of olive, and that. That came in at exactly a pound with free postage. And they come in a box, three times as big as that, all well packed, and it was a pound. So you can really hunt around for for this on on the um on your eBay. There we go, there we go. One there and one more. You will take a lot more care, ladies, than what I'm doing at the moment. The beauty of having it on um, a small one as well, you can turn it around because on your big one, I work on a big glass one, which is, you know, like a cutting board, a glass cutting board. So that's my second one. Let's get the pointy end pen. One, two, Three, four, five. Okay, I'll finish that one up. I know it's only got um, one layer on. But I'll just show you what I've done next. Let's get a tiny bit of yellow. This is just called lemon. In fact, that one's a bit lighter because I've mixed it with some white. I wanted somewhere else. So you just get a tiny little ball of yellow. 
That's usually what's in a, a daisy, isn't it? I think that's too big. Uh, let's try that one. There we go. And then um, give it some seed things in the middle, like that. And then what you've got to do then is put a, a hook on it. Oh. Just bear with me a second. Is it that one I used? No, I think it was. Um, Matter, but I think I prefer one of those, one of them. So I've got a, you could, you could use one of these, this split ring, and shove that down, put that down the side, but um, I'm going to use a, what's it called, an eye pin instead. So all I'll do is, um, I'll snap it if I can find if I can find the thing. I've lost my little one, so I've got this huge plonking thing. It's just that I like having a little bit of length there to um, put in. Whereas if you've got the rings, they haven't, and that's enough. And you could put another little ring through it when you've finished. So just find an ideal place. Like that. There we go. Let's see. Whoops. And there we go. And then uh, he put them in the oven on about a 130 centigrade. And uh, I usually leave mine on between 10 and 15 minute. And and that's plenty for it. So that is how I made my earrings for Betsy and uh, she likes them and I wear mine, I've got some as well and one of mine I managed to even put a tiny little uh, ladybird on as well not the, and the earrings, yes on the earrings they're slightly bigger than this so um, I hope you give your female polymer a, a, a go I'm finding it great fun and um, and it's good for the hands, for working out the hands with arthritis. I've got, I've got it in the thumbs, but I keep my hand going with that. So thank you very much for watching, ladies. Um, I might come back and show you how my little pixie gel went in the end. Thank you, ladies. Bye.